um, got a bronze and obviously gold in the discus in London. OK, we're going to leave it there because we've got a brilliant final, the blind final for the women, the T1100 metres. Yes, yeah, three from Brazil in this, and they all regularly medal, particularly the lady in lane three. Paralympic Games, two gold, one silver, two bronze. She's already won the 200, both here and at London, and in Christchurch, and in Beijing. So it's asking a lot for Esperanza Gicasso of Angola to break the Brazilian dominance here. It could very easily be a clean sweep. Isaac Vieira Adao is oh. the uh, oh, look at the blindfold. <laughs> strawberries for Teresina Guilhermina Brazil and Guillaume Santana, the guide. She's had all sorts of blindfolds on. We had uh, a boat and some cars yesterday, but it's strawberries today. Celebrating already. Rosa Santos, Jerusa Santos in lane five. Again for Brazil, Luis Enrique Silva is slightly more reserved. And Gulia Santos is in lane seven with Fabio de Oliveira. Her guy, bronze in the 100, London 2012. Jerusa Santos, silver in both the 100 and 200 in both London 2012 and Christchurch 2011. Gilomina holds the world record and the championship record and will be in the mood in the Leon Sunshine to do something special again. Only Gacasso of Angola can prevent a clean sweep. Only Gacasso and a pair of Santos's can prevent Gilomina from adding another gold medal to the collection. T11 for complete visual impairment. Women's 100 meters final. Gacasso of Angola in one, Guilhermina of Brazil in two, Santos Brazil five, Jerusa Santos in five, Julia Santos of Brazil is in lane seven. This lane three that we'll all be watching, this could be very fast. Gacasso, Guilhermina, Jerusa Santos, Julia Santos. Oh, Gacasso went too early, the only non Brazilian in the field. They'll be generous because really you can't be too unkind in a situation like this. You'll take note of the class of final it is. What sort of nerves would these sprinters be going through, Dan Groves? Um, well, it's a long time since I sprinted, but you know, I can only equate it to what I do in the circle. And you know, it's nerve wracking. This is your chance to shine, and you want to do it so badly. And, and nerves mean that it means something to you. So, do you ever get the twitches? Yeah, I, I had it on Sunday. Um, it just means that you want to do so well, and it just butterflies, and you just have to try and control them. It's really hard at times. Um, so, she obviously just wanted to get the perfect start and just went a bit too early um, or got unsettled in the blocks and that's a, that's a massive shame if he gets DQ'd which looks like that's that. red oh it's a red and she's gone and I think that's the first red card we've seen on the track in this entire week and it's going to be a Brazil 1-2-3 and it's in very unfortunate circumstances well you have to wait for the gun it seems a bit harsh doesn't it Dan yeah, you know, she, it looks like she was just a bit unsettled as she got there, and and you know, it, it's the rules at the end of the day. Uh, fear dear to IWF rules, and it's a harsh rule, um, you know, in the circumstances. And yeah, she looks like she'll be devastated, which gives Brazil a clean sweep. Well, she's being applauded away, and uh, what is the interpretation of this rule that has seen her eliminated? So we know where the medals are going. It's all going to the one place, but in which order? I think it's going to that lady with the strawberries. She was phenomenal in London. So Teresina Guilhermina of Brazil, a real leading lights at this level. Guilhermina, Santos and Santos are the three left in this women's 100 meters T11 final. Gicasso of Angola, full starting and eliminated. Guilhermina in three. Teresa Santos five, Julia Santos lane seven. This time we're away and Guilhermina started very strongly. 
Santos and Santos trying to keep up, but it's Gilamina all the way. And it's Gilamina against the clock. Is she going to break a world record? It'll be another goal, definitely. 12.17. It's very fast. It might be rounded down to a new championship record. But Gilamina does it again. Does the double. It is the season best, at least. 12.16. Jerusa Santos was second. And Julia Santos was in third. But she was really away here with Guillaume Santana alongside. Really great praise. It helps to have a proper international class athlete alongside. It's a great partnership between the two. And he eased up, let her through, and that was it. Teresa Santos took second place. Julia Santos, the bronze. But, well, it was Brazil 1 2 3 in the end. Very unfortunate what happened to Gacasso, but she just absolutely flew away. It wasn't going to be stopped. And it was a sweet taste of victory for Teresina Guillermina there. The lady with the strawberries, and actually it's more ornate than even that. She's wearing the blindfold with the strawberries on, and then she's got little red sequins, so they sparkle. Very nice, Dan. I don't know if you like that style. Is it something you would uh, consider? It's, it's very fashionable, you know, very up to date. So um, I guess when you uh, customise your own blindfold like that, it uh, draws attention. And uh, I know she's a very um, charismatic figure in the Paralympic sport movement. Mm. Do you get to know people from other countries that are in the sport? Um, well, my great friend Libby Clegg obviously competed in a similar class in uh, in London. So um, the Brazilians obviously know Libby um, being a T12 athlete, um, and we, we do try and get get to mix with most of the countries. Really, I mean, make great friends from other countries, um, which is which is great, really. So the results of the women's 100 meters.